Hey Jeff here, Worms for Earth. This is a Cassandra 2 worm bin, and I've had it for going for about, well, November, December, January, February, March, about five months now. And uh, I'm going to go take a look at see the worm population here and how much of it it's, uh, how much it's grown. So I have one, two, three, four, five bins. I'm going to pull it up on the fourth bin down. There's a bunch of worms right there. Go ahead and zoom in on those worms there. Keep going. Zoom all the way in. There you go. All right. Just like any other tray, I bury the scraps and the worms, then feast off of them. Now, you saw in this area there was a bunch of worms. I don't believe I had fed this tray. They're probably coming up from the bottom. Now, there's a fat African night crawler. I have both African night crawlers and red wigglers. Now here you can see the size difference. In the African craw night crawler and the red wiggler. Quite a difference. Here's another smaller African. Now let's go ahead and uh, let's look at the third tray. Put all back up here. Pull this one. Now this one. There's another really nice long African. I should have. Yeah, right here is where I put the scraps. And here you can see, are yeah, you zoomed, zoomed in there? Uh -huh. See, there's a mixture of both red wigglers and African night crawlers. How much in a way? Now, I did, I like to put uh, peat and manure in my bins because, um, number one, it's a really good medium for your worms to live in. Um, a strictly paper bins, uh, just as good, but it, with the peat and the manure, it's even more ready-made for your your plants. You can don't have to have it all composted to use it. And here is the next level up. You can see. Can you zoom in over here? You can see a lot of, if you can zoom in as close as you can get to this, you can see right here a bunch of um, baby worms or the thread like, thread like, is that as zoomed in as you can get? Mm -hmm. That's a pretty good zoom. Alright, again there's a bunch of scraps buried in here. At least you should feed the bin, I'll go ahead and feed the bin. And you know, here's, when, when you feed the bins, just go ahead and pull some of your your uh, stuff back, your your bedding back. And uh, you know what? I didn't bring the, the food tray. Go ahead and go ahead and stop it. All right. Now this is what I put all our kitchen scraps in, all our kitchen scraps in. So I'm just gonna go ahead and got some banana pills. Like we got some oatmeal right there. That's out of my hand, some, <laughs> some pancakes, all that good stuff. Just, uh, just put some bedding back over it, and your worms will will smell it, and mm. will soon be eating. All right. So they will always migrate to food when they see it. That's right. Well, actually, they don't have eyes when they smell it. And here is the top bin, which I put some food scraps. I'm doing actually on my blog. I'm doing an experiment where um, I always have have buried the food, but I just wonder what would happen if I didn't bury the food. Would it stink? And you know what? It doesn't. It, obviously, it's starting to rot, but um, the worms eat the bacteria that causes the food to smell, so it won't smell. All right. Well, there's an example of a. Uh, a fully operating Gusanato worm bin.